Hey Tiger, how you doing? Hi Annie. Everything going well there? Everything's going great. All right, today we have something a little bit different. We've had golfers send in videos of their swings. Uh, we were inundated. Everyone wanted to know your advice and get your analysis on the swings. So before we <laughs> kick it off, uh, how are your coaching skills? Uh, I'm okay. Sometimes I can be uh, a touch critical. Uh, but I try, I try to explain it the, the best I possibly can. Well, you have a ton of knowledge under your belt, so I think we can forgive a slight bit of critical uh, analysis, and it's never hurt anyone. I have to say that you gave me a tip which revolutionized my game, so from my perspective, you're pretty solid. Well, thank you. Let's go. Let's see what we right. First up, we have uh, Oliver Kincaid. This is a good quarantine video. Inside, wearing socks on the hardwood floor. So he's got a little stability drill there. Yeah, the only thing I see that uh, is pretty obvious that he stops his rotation at the very end. His hips thrust forward and up because he's trying to, he's using the ground to try to hit as hard as he can. And he's coming up on, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. The only thing I would say is just try and keep his left butt cheek back a little bit more as he does it. You can, there's nothing wrong with the hip extending and coming up, but the butt's got to stay back a little bit. The thrust forward like that, he's going to have an upright fall through, which he does. His mm -hmm. clubs will flip up vertically, and that's, that could be like either a nasty block right or a pretty big flip hook. Yeah. Man, it's, it's good to see kids like thrusting that hard and using the ground to create power. He's trying to get some JT speed and power there. I love it. Next up, uh, his Twitter name is at fast eddie 400 um and that goes in line with his swing this is a fast swing his caption is fast eddie 2021 champions tour awesome i love the rock that he has a little kick in to try and get yeah. motion into the right leg kicks it forward this allows you to go back behind it just left knee behind the ball okay. high hands it's that's how you want to hit it long mm. Then he plants that foot, drives, jumps. I mean, it's, it's awesome for power and speed. Well done. And one of the things that all long drive um, competitors do, the more you can keep that ball and socket of the left hip behind the foot, as you jump and it clears, as if it stays behind the foot, it unleashes way more power. Mm. You know, it, Gets it at the top, high hands, leg kicked in, drives, plants, and as he jumps, that left hip socket stays back. Awesome. That's how you create some serious speed. Yeah, that looks like it's going some distance, that one. Next up, we've got at Billy Ponch. He's repping Michigan State here. Baseball swing, baseball grip, 10 finger grip. I would have someone hold a uh, hold her hand next to his, his left side of his head as he mm -hmm. takes the club back. Not to Obviously, it's nice to have a little motion going back with the, with the right knee and having that move. But he gets so far over there, can't get back to it. I would just have someone just kind of put a, a stick or hold her hand there as he takes the club back. He's able to stay a little bit more centered and not go so far off the golf ball. And yeah. I think that would really help him hit the ball a little more solidly. Yeah. Next up, we have Mariana Pereira. She goes by at MMAP. Young woman, solid swing from Portugal, this one. See, she's got a really nice swing, big wide arc. Takes it pretty deep on the way back. Mm. Um, a little bit flippy at the bottom because she rolled over on her right foot on the way back. And she's trying to get back to the golf ball. I think that if uh, she could brace that right leg a little bit better on the way back, she can then drive the right knee more more in towards the golf ball instead of kind of out, uh, sort of more in towards the target line instead of out like she has it. Yeah. And she might she roll over on the outside part of her right foot right there. Yeah. Which costs her a little bit of power, a little bit of timing, and that little bit of timing delay will produce a little bit of flip at the bottom. Use that right thigh, brace that right thigh, get into the right hip, uh, but not let it roll outside. Like, get into it. 
use it. And then as you push forward, make sure that your butt stays back, which gives you all the room in the world to swing left or down the line or push out to the right, whatever shot pattern you want. If that stays back, you get all the room in the world. You don't have to use your hands at all. And so it'll be a little bit like this. Back into it. Like that. So if you're watching, I'm just like that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. As simple as that. Next up, we have at Ty Boston 2. He's a lefty young man, teenager, with looks like Rory's hair circa 2005. <laughs> looks like he has potential. Yeah, you've got that club a little across the line. But you can always play from there a little. Very deep. Mm. Shells it out nicely. I think probably the only thing I would say is that he needs to keep his left shoulder up on the way on the way down just a little bit more. On the way back, he loads it pretty hard on the way back. Mm. He goes down at it pretty pretty aggressively on the way back. Yeah. Stay up just a fraction more. Then as he drops, he'll have a little bit more room. We won't have to pull across it so hard to get it back online. You're, you're good at this so far. Solid, simple tips. I like it. This is Jeremiah sent in from at Kevin Mundro. Got his Sunday Tiger Red on. Hello, Tiger. Here is uh, Jeremiah's swing. He's four and he's a huge fan. Oh, I love it. He's into it. All right. So is he looking at the camera on the way back? I don't know if he's looking at the camera or just down and back at the ground. That's athletic right there. I tell you what, to not look at the golf ball and then find it on the way down. And yeah. Hit it. Obviously, he has athletic athleticism. I mean, I would just start off with a simple thing, just to look at the golf ball on the way back. Yeah. And just keep having fun with it. Keep hitting it. You know, one of the things that my dad always tried to get me to do is you know, always follow the golf ball. So mm -hmm. always keep your eye on the ball, literally on the ball. So um, I'm always looking at the golf ball as I come through and I make contact, try and see the golf ball so that your head doesn't hang back. You see the golf ball at all times. Just try to always see the golf ball. I wasn't always the best at that, especially the way through, but it was a nice little thing, nice little fun thing, and the easy thing for me to try and do mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was little. Yeah, good thing to focus on, for sure. Nice and simple there. Next up, we have um, the real PJ Clark is his uh, Twitter username. He says, please help me. I am hopeless. It's really not that bad. He sits back on his heels a little bit. I said that I would have to say get a little bit more athletic, a little bit more yeah. into the balls of his feet, especially at a dress. You know, try and get, I mean, he's got a lot of knee flex, a little bent over around at the shoulders, um, kind of a bad posture. If you get a little bit more athletic, try and create a, an arch in his lower back and get more athletic, like he's going to uh, feel a, uh, a baseball and get more athletic, then I don't think that he's going to sit back on his heels on the way through because he's already sitting in a bad posture and that's only going to get worse as he goes from there. And a fall turn, that, that pose needs a little work. <laughs> I don't know if that's horror looking at his ball, judging off his tweet. <laughs> Next up is uh, at K Young Scooper on Twitter. Um, young woman here, she says, you've always been a great inspiration to me. Really would be very happy if you could help analyze my swing. Thank you. Wishing you all the best in everything that you do and stay safe. Uh, one of the first things uh, you see initially uh, at the takeaway, the club gets behind her, hands get high, club gets underneath her, mm. so then get vertical, and you can see that lay down and flip. See how vertical it gets? And yeah. her handle gets very high at an impact because of that. I think that'll be very, it's a very simple fix. Not to have your hands go up like that. Try and feel as if there's a plane of glass across your left arm and you try and keep that left arm uh, up against that plane of glass that keeps your hands down 
and then she won't have this reroute that she has this way and this way and then a high handle. That'll get the handle a little bit lower by keeping this connected a little bit more, club more in front, and I'll get the handle lower and more stable. Simple drill, just have, just go up on the mirror and just make sure that you look, as you look back on the mirror, that your, your club is not behind your hands. Mm -hmm. You know, when your club is all waist high, it's still, you want to keep it more in line, if not maybe just a touch in front for now, mm -hmm. and then it'll kind of even itself out. But this, this back here, man, that's a, that's just a recipe for having a high handle and having to time a lot of shots. Yeah. Next up, we've got Dan Olsen, who's at Olsen Golf Nation here. All right, the only thing that I would say for Dan to really work on, you can see that club gets a little, hands get a little close at the top of the swing, a little across, and then from there, these hands really go out away from him. Hmm. And there's a little cast and a little throw. So he really comes over it a lot with his hands and comes very steeply into the golf ball. So I would, for him, I would do rehearsals, try to get a feel for that, try and keep the right shoulder back just as, just as the hands fall. The hips can start turning, but just keep the right shoulder back for a little bit. Just do a couple pumps like that. Try and pull with that left hip. Mm -hmm. Keep the right shoulder back for a little bit, and that'll get the hands falling more vertically and not so far out away from them. Yeah, and then obviously it's not so casty. So it's just a simple little take it up to the top, maybe do a couple pumps like that, try to keep it back a little bit. Understand that. And yeah, and that's a very common problem as well. So. It is. That's a good drill to have in your locker. Next up, we have Mark Shreve. Um, he says, hey, Tiger, he's had not one but two fusion surgeries and a left knee replacement in the past three years. Uh, he's trying to time up a revamp swing after an eight-year break from the game. Any suggestions? Yeah, I can see it. It's tight. Um, mm. and the only thing that I would say for... For this motion, um, try and get the club a little bit uh, more lofted. What I mean by that, he's got a really strong grip. Make sure that that left wrist stays a little more cuppy at the top. Because you can see that face is really shut at the top. And yeah. From there, yeah. you will not have to hold on to it as, as hard as he is here. But, but I mean, eight years away, two two fusion surgeries and knee replacement. Uh, good on you for even doing this. 100%. This one is Abigail Taylor. She says, here is my swing. Abigail, 14 from England, handicap four. Uh, hope you get the chance to look at it. Stay safe and thank you. All right, so I would try and do this other pattern. That, I mean, she has, I'd flip the pattern around just a little bit, try and give her a little bit more, a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. She has, uh, the club goes out and around a little bit. And then at the top, she then has this little drop under move back here with her hand like that. I'll try and make it go the opposite. So try and go more under, more in with the hands, a little more vertical with the club, and then come have fun and come over the top of it a little bit for a few shots. So more in. A little more vertical, a little more over. Add a little speed to that, and it won't be so dramatically in this way and over. And more like that. And she has just a little bit of a drop on her behind her, but she's flexible enough to get away with it. Um, yeah. But I think she's able to flip the pattern just a little bit. It'll neutralize it yeah. and give her a little more, a little more pop. Perfect, sounds good. James Stevens uh, has sent in a video of Lucas's swing. He said he's getting there, but he's not too sure about his club twirl. I love the sunnies in his style though. <laughs> uh, okay, the thing is if you're gonna 
you know, work on the club twirl. Mm. Uh, you got to make sure that you twirl the club towards where the ball's going, not at the camera this way. You yeah. want to twirl it at the, where the ball is going because it's so good, it's so pure, you can continue to watch it. Mm -hmm. But no, honestly, for I say just keep hitting it, keep hitting it fun, keep having a good time with it. You see, just starting the game, just have fun. Club trolling is one of the one of the fun things to do. Absolutely. This one, um, not sent in by uh, any name, but I think um, the person is a great person, um, really great swing. I'm not sure you're going to be able to find anything wrong with this one. I don't even know if you want to try. Uh, I mean, it's just perfection, really. Oh, boy. Can we work on that right knee a little bit more? Really? Does, does anything <laughs> need changing I mean <laughs> right knee needs to go more towards the target left knee just needs to go away from the golf ball so you got a little bit of a slight sliding knees a little saggy there so if you can get that right knee to start rotating in left knee starts rotating back before you get to impact it's a good feel before you get before the club even gets to impact to have those two things going Right knee towards the target, left knee away, give you a little bit more room, a little less saggy with lower back. I'll let whoever it is know. I, I'm not sure they wanted to hear the word saggy about their golf swing, <laughs> but I, I, I'll pass that information up. Okay. Tiger, thank you so much. What a great opportunity for everyone to have their swing analyzed by a 15 time major champion. Uh, we were inundated with swings, so thank you so much to everyone who sent their swings in. And you played down your coaching abilities at the start. You're pretty good. Well, it's just fun. Just, I just want to have everyone um, have the opportunity to become a little bit better. And there's nothing better in golf than hitting a solid shot. And so be able to do it again and again. It keeps bringing us all back and having fun with it. Absolutely. Great advice. Uh, I'm sure that those that were analyzed are going to race to go and practice their tips. Everyone else at home who's enjoying their golf, continue to stay safe out there and Tiger will talk to you soon. Perfect. Thanks, Eddie.